Hey friends, it's time for another Jeep video. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to get the gas out of the gas tank on Jeep TJ. So the gas has been in here for at least a year and a half and it needs to come out. And the odds of getting a siphon down that are about zero. Really difficult to siphon because the tube does all sorts of shit. So, what we're going to do is we're going to run it out using the fuel line and the fuel pump in the tank. So, let me get a battery in here and get that connected. And then we'll get started. So, this needs a three-quarter inch hose. So, I ordered the cheapest three-quarter inch hose I could find because it just isn't a long duration project. Um, let me put a quarter inch driver on this tighten it down. Um, if I was going to use this more than once, um, the type of hose matters. Oh, wrong size. Looks like it's the right color, but it's not. to oil and gasoline and others are not. Well, apparently that's not the right. Let me let me find the bit for these. I'll be right back. Okay, so this doesn't need to be super tight, but I do want it tight. This is a six millimeter. That that's good enough. Alright, so we're gonna run this in like this. That's nice and secure. Let me go get a battery and put in the Jeep. I'll be back. Okay, so we've got battery power, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip the ignition on and off and see if we can drain it. We've got about a quarter, a little less than a quarter tank. I don't know if this is gonna work. Might have to jump or the relay. Yeah, it's not putting out a whole lot, so let me figure out how to jump for the relay and I'll be back. Okay, so here is my fuel pump relay. This is the slot the relays for front differential locker, high speed 24 volt fan, rear differential locker, and low speed fan would be, which I don't have. So this is a little bit tough to get out. Uh, my guess, all right, let's read the. 8586 1 and 2 so 3 and 5 which are the two larger terminals so I'm going to find something to jump across those I'll be right back okay so what I have handy is a piece of silver solder and I think this will do the trick okay so what I'm gonna do is just disconnect the battery terminal too bent, but again, I think this will be okay. Okay, so I think at this point, it should flow. So let's see if it is. It is. Stalegas.com. So I'm going to turn the key on so I can see 
how low I'm getting, because I really, what I want to do is run it out of gas. So I'm gonna let the fuel pump do its magic and get the uh, fuel out of here seamlessly for me. You could use a longer piece of hose if you needed, if you don't have your vehicle part like this, but this is definitely the easy way to get the fuel out of the tank. Okay, so it turns out that the battery is shot. Not really surprised. And I'm gonna have to uh, swap the gas can. So let me go get a different gas can, or rather I'm going to pour this one into another gas can and I'll be back. Okay, the show goes on. So uh, the battery turns out to be shot, so it's only got a small amount of voltage, so I brought in a battery charger to boost it. And uh, it turns out there's probably about 10 gallons of gas in the tank, so we're going to drain it out like this. I'll be back when we're closer to being done. Okay, so that's it. Uh, once stop torturing the fuel pump, we have gotten all the gas out that's going to flow out. And at this point, we're done with this project. I'll safely dispose of this gas. Turned out there was about six gallons in the tank. I thought it was a little more. Um, and uh, there you have it. This is the easiest way to get the gas out of the tank of a TJ is to use the fuel pump. Thanks for watching. Um, if you did use cheap water uh, hose that's not rated for fuel I recommend you throw it away um, save yourself any hassle the the gasoline will eat this rubber uh, over time and so that's a really good reason to get rid of it thanks for watching hope this was helpful for somebody that has to have, do this as well